This is Code.org. I'm currently working on their CS Principles course. I am on Unit 3 Intro to Programming Lesson 7, APIs and Function Parameters, Part 6. Hexadecimal Colors. Ah, yes. In reading the documentation, you may have noticed the pin color can accept colors in hexadecimal format. Example, hashtag AC9100. Colors on websites will often be represented in this format. It's useful to know how to interpret and use this format when trying to duplicate colors in your own images. Read the documentation, review, re review the documentation for pin color, and pay close attention to how to define colors in hexadecimal. And by documentation, they mean to hover over it, right? And we see this little blurb. Let's check it out. So how do we define colors in hexadecimal? I'm going to scroll down until I see it. This is RGB definition. This is a hex value, right? So the hashtag 7FF, that's a hex color. Do they let us know? Mm -mm. Okay. And so the hex value, yep. All right. So we do see that. Let's do this. Draw a boy. <clears throat> draw a bullseye below using a combination of pin color and dot. Hint: the sample images image was created using the following hexadecimal colors. Okay, 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 all right. Can you recall how hexadecimal colors work? Oh, can you recall how they work? So, I definitely do, but do you? Right? So, the first two numbers are what is going to represent the red value. Okay? And then the second two is representing green. And then the third two are blue. And I shouldn't have said numbers, but characters maybe. And keep in mind, with hex, zero, zero is, well, zero that means none so this val color has no presence of blue ff uh, i mean of red ff should be max right so if you have ff that means the most amount possible so the higher the letter the larger the value so if i'm looking at this i am thinking this color likely has the most red in it because it has a very high right c it's not exactly f but it's a high value here. So we're going to make the entire background that color awesome. Let's go ahead and look for it. Oh, we're not going to use background. We're going to use dot. And I need to use pin color. And I am just going to copy. Oop, not that one. This one. Copy. And, oh, I'm going to switch to text to paste it. paste and it's grumpy because that's not where colors go paste this is where the size of our dot goes I was gonna do something huge just so it would cover the screen yep all right we're off to a good start and then let's go back to box here and now I want to well I want to change my pen color and then I'm gonna do another smaller dot I already know that and then I'm going to need to change my pen color and do a smaller dot. So let's go to text now. All right, we need green. Well, green is the second number, or the second two characters represent green. Why do they give us three? Oh, they're just doing that to trip us up. Okay. Six, eight's not that high. This has more green than red, so I'm, hmm, what do you think? I'm definitely going to go with this, because this just has a tiny bit of red and a lot of green, right? Because zero is no red, one is just a little bit. And green is our second, so I'm going to click, click, paste. And I'm not sure about the size there. Let's try 100. And then finally, for the blue, blue is our last number. What has a whole lot of blue in it? It looks like this has a decent amount of blue, and it is a bluish green. So that makes sense that there's an 8-8 eight, eight in the green spot. 
And I'm thinking that is 50 maybe? Maybe I'll increase these. Let's see what we got. But uh, no, I actually think perfect. First try. So that's what my blocks look like. Awesome. Let's keep going. 